Hello everyone. I have a new video for you. I have the new um, memory box, what I call the Polar Bear Release. And these are cards that of course could be used for the Christmas holiday, but also could be used as well as anything for winter or a birthday card or something whimsical. Also in this video, I am introducing my newest design team member, um, Miss Iris Weissman and she is just does phenomenal work. This is one of her cards that you see in front of you and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that bear just so you can see the really nice job she did with coloring it and the items that will be for sale um, from this card are the, the bear stamp, the die that cuts the bear out, and this uh, flourish behind the bear and I want to kind of just show you how that was made. The items if you're interested in this set uh, the first item is D1831 and that is called Colin Bear and that's the stamp and then with this is the die number 98233 and that die cuts out the stamped image and I'll show you this die is it's just a blank die as you can see it's made specifically to cut out the image and it has the two holes for the alignment system and I did I do have on this um, release the video that memory box released on how to use their dies if you don't know how or if you're not familiar with this um, two hole system how to line them up and cut them out it's a very uh, nice system it's nice and easy to work with so that die goes with this set right here and then the other the LaRue Flourish is number 98218 and that's that die right there and you can see how Iris put these together to make this beautiful card. And I'm going to zoom in on just some of the details that she had. Those beautiful, um, it looks like um, maybe primula roses that she used there. And then how she put kind of a scallop circle there. An embellishment with a ribbon. And the you're never more than a thought away. And then she also made with this die, she cut out this adorable, it's a magnet. And she used some ultra thick embossing powder after she colored it in. And you can just see how cute this little guy is and what a nice little gift he'd make for someone who you gave that card to. All right, move along to the next card. The next card is this cute little guy right here. And he is known as Wesley Bear. And to make the Wesley Bear card, you can kind of, I'm going to go over, I'll come back to the card. She used number D1832, that's the Wesley Bear stamp. She used C1825, that's the birch background stamp. She used 98234, and that is the die for the Wellesley Bear. And then she also used this one, 98238 Snowflake Corner. So those were the four elements that she used to make this card. And I want to show you the card again after seeing the items for sale to make it. Sorry, I'm getting used to this camera. Um, you can see here the birch background. And here is the little Wellesley bear. And she did a nice job of coloring him in. And then she cut him out with the dye. And then you can see the flowers here. And then I'd really like to zoom in on that snowflake corner die because that is such a gorgeous die. It's very elegant and whimsical depending upon how you use it. It could be either. 
and how cute that is. Um, kind of like it reminds me of a snow globe and there will be a snow globe release coming out in the future so remember this little bear set might be good for that too and just kind of show you some of the elements there. Now the next card that Iris made is this beauty and this bear he is called Fredward Bear and we had some problems the reason this release came out a little bit late is accidentally the wrong dies were in the um, packaging and thank goodness Iris noticed it when she was making up the sample so I could not ship these out to my customers but it held up the release for me a little bit while I waited to do that and I want to show you the elements to use to make this card first I'm going to go through the dies that that she used with this card um, the first die is Fredward Bear number 98235 and there he is there and then the little hat is another die it's 98232 it's called Santa hat but Iris made it a party hat and then the stamp is D1833 Fredward Bear there's the stamp and inside the card which you um, didn't see yet I will show you is C1409 called Fred P Bear and there he is right there he's a really cute little guy now this is this release there she also used two older elements these are not in the release but I have had these for sale already on my blog if you look in the search engine on the right on my blog you can find them B143 the tangled hearts and also DL110 Heartland America large um, those were used also um, in the card now I'll go back to the card so I can point these elements out to you so there's the Heartland um, American large heart and there's the party hat and there is the Fredward bear see the glitter she added there and then here is the border of the tangled hearts right here across that bottom and again she did a gorgeous job with ribbon and um, floral accents which is so pretty and then as promised to show you the inside of this card she did that little um, Fred P bear and he's so cute Let's see if I can she he seems to be looking up at something there that would be nice overall stamp for a lot of different uses having him look up at like an address on an envelope or a sentiment um, he's he's extremely cute little guy there and you can see how cute all right this is a really fun release um, it's a it's a release um, I'm glad Iris took this as her assignment because she really does a lot of elegant things and she took some whimsical dies and put a, a touch on them and the other thing is please visit Iris's blog um, she sells cards and I think it's a really nice blog to have for those friends of yours that ask you to make them a card for say their uh, their aunt or uh, their grandmother and you just kinda politely say oh I'd, I don't have the time and they really don't understand how much um, it would cost to make a card like this but now you can direct them to Iris's blog because she does sell cards and she does a fabulous beautiful job and um, you can just direct them there to buy them and not feel so bad I hope you all are enjoying the season we're having a nice winter storm here today and uh, if you want any of the items just visit my blog or and send me an email and I will send you a PayPal invoice also there's uh, been several questions if old items are still available on my blog if it is still on my blog it is still for sale or I can still get it most of the items are in stock what's not in stock are the the punches are not in stock I have to special order them but pretty much everything else is so if it's there it is still for sale uh, and uh, as course you can always email me with any questions hope you enjoy the video take care everyone bye bye